The following interview was recorded live during the Technology and Curriculum Conference of Aldine. To find out more, visit their website, tccaconference.com. My name is Melissa Flores. I'm an iTech here at one of the middle schools in Aldine Independent School District. Awesome. Awesome. Mm-hmm. You guys have a lot of iTechs. Yes, there's one of us at each campus. That's awesome. Yes. That's really, really awesome. Mm-hmm. So what's your role today here during the conference? Are you just volunteering to help out and make sure stuff goes down good? It's kind of mandatory we help out since it's yeah. really this group that has put this on um, since 2010. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we... It's mandatory, but we really enjoy it. It's yeah. kind of a way to showcase ed tech and what we do in the district and how much we love it and why we love our jobs and helping teachers integrate technology. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So what are, or what, let's, let's pick one, what's, what's kind of like your big one thing that you're working on at your, dis, at, at your site uh, like this year? Oh, this year, my goal is to get a couple teachers Google certified. We are a Google district, G Suite Mm -hmm. district, so um, I really love it. I don't think I've touched a Word document in a long time now (laughs) um, because the collaborative piece is just so integral. So I'm really trying to push more people to try it. Um, We each got 65-inch interactive panels in our classrooms Mm -hmm. now, and the teachers are loving it. So I see a lot of teachers with their hands on the panels, but I know the district's idea is to have students with their hands on the panels. So as I was walking around campus, that's one of the other goals. I really want to work on that integration piece with the students touching the panels, not just the teachers. Yeah, (laughs) yes, exactly. Yeah. No no point in having a glorified chalkboard (laughs) up there. Let's get the kids, you know, interacting with Mm -hmm. it as well. Yeah, Yeah. that's what it's there for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So on your site, is it uh do is there uh, do the teachers have and the students have uh, uh, one-to-one devices are there chromebooks or no. ipads yeah we have limited funds are limited yeah. so we have limited sure. the district provides a lot we have a program called level up mm-hmm. i don't know if you've heard about it yeah. but it's uh, a way for teachers to get more knowledge it's a six-hour pd online and they last year we had picked nine teachers each one got a set of 12 chromebooks to use in their class alone cool this year unfortunately we only got to pick four right. um, but it's a great program and that was one way to get technology and that the district paid for yeah sure yeah <laughs> that's right. we know, so it but, didn't touch the principals right budget. <laughs> yeah that's right they're that's happy right. about that yes. yeah that's mm-hmm. true yeah. but you know with so many schools and so many students it does mm-hmm. get expensive pretty quickly mm-hmm. yes even really at the does. cost effectiveness of a chromebook you know? mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. Yeah, yeah even though even though they're inexpensive when you have to buy 10 or 20 or 50 you know it adds up it so. really does and then you need the card and yeah. then you have you know so it does add up. and the licensing and then yeah do you um so do your teachers mainly carry windows machines is that what they actually use yes that's what they're used to and what they have yeah. uh, the student devices at my campus at least tend to be chromebooks mm-hmm. because of the cost effectiveness yeah. mm-hmm. and ease of use i oh. think for the teachers and, yeah and they're yeah. perfect yes yeah and, I, in I fact like several that. districts including my own we've we've realized that we could actually get by even our teachers could use just Chromebooks because mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all of the online services we're using in Gradebook, everything is just right there. Right there, yeah. yes. Yeah. And it's so easy and, and cost effective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a big, that's a key right there. And, yes. and you know, yes. we, we know in the tech world that, you know, a laptop will last you three to five years, sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, easy five years. Yeah. A Chromebook probably would too. Yeah. It would, you know, and especially at a, a range between 150 and $200. Wow. You can't beat it. You can't yeah, beat no, it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. really. So what, what grade levels are at your school, at your building? And currently, uh, the middle school holds seventh and eighth graders. Okay. Uh-huh. Next year, they're re- rearranging everything. Oh. No. So my campus, all middle schools, will actually have sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Oh, okay. So I haven't seen sixth graders in a middle school campus since I started teaching in Aldine, which was back in 2004. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be very interesting to see to yeah, see that yeah. change and transition. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it's it's really going to be a, a change in the culture of the building as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's, yes. Yeah, that'll be that, that's going to be very interesting to see how that, how that pans, pans out. out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the, the part of the reason why I was asking is um, I'm, I'm thinking along the lines of what are some of the what are some of the uh, the projects or problems that those students are solving at the middle school. As far the, as the, using technology, like some of the things that you've seen the students where you kind of go, oh, my gosh, that is awesome. Oh, wow. Um, I really like when they work together on projects. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They they already like to talk at that age. <laughs> yeah, <So> exactly. <laughs> if you can teach them to talk about 
educational things mm-hmm. and work together on something educational, whether it be a Google slideshow or something like that. That's really exciting. Yeah. Um, I like when they see new things that they haven't seen. For yeah. example, we did something with Nearpod with one of my teachers, and we put that 360 picture in, and the kids were just, they just thought that was the coolest thing. Yeah. I'm thinking, I've seen this before. I didn't know this was new for them. Yeah. I guess I made a wrong assumption in thinking that they already knew the up-and-coming stuff, oh, but right. they really don't. No. Yeah. And so... Um, that was really exciting to yeah, see. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I think sometimes we kind of get, um, we sort of get into this sense of, you know, there's a chance that the students had maybe seen a 360 degree video on whatever YouTube or yes. whatever, but to see it that local to where I mean, you know, where they literally could touch it, mm-hmm. you know, or at least touch the equipment that does it, or see how it's made. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're like, wait a minute we can do this wait this is happening here mm-hmm. you know and, and you see those light bulbs start to come on and yeah. you, you know you, you hear the the wheels starting to churn and it was I, I, that's very very yeah. cool that it was really, really fun is. Mm-hmm. that is awesome that's awesome well we we can only do but all we can do is praise this conference it's it's really awesome you yeah, guys you have guys done have a great job you're job. real proud of yourselves this is we do a lot of big conferences i mean mm-hmm. big conferences and this is a big conference yeah yeah. yeah, you guys and it started so small. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but good things always so start out. So, were you here at the beginning? I was close to the beginning. I was here for the first one. It was yeah. at Eisenhower High School. Uh-huh. Um, I did two of those, and then they um, shrunk the position to have one of us for each two campuses. Uh-huh. Oh. And because I was a newbie, I got booted out. Yeah. So then I was able to come back after one more year of teaching oh, and, cool. and get yeah. back into it. And, that's cool. Uh, that's yeah, it, it's great. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very, very so cool. So I remember it started with not very many, less than 300 people, maybe uh-huh. less wow. than that if my memory serves me. And we had a barbecue that year, and it was just so small yeah. and yeah. fun. Yeah. And now it's big and still fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. yeah, everybody's walking around with a smile on their face. Mm-hmm. Everybody's having yeah. a wonderful time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to see that. Yeah, yeah I, I'm really impressed is. you can do it in from 6.30 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. And this many people show up and this many people have a good time and so much to be learned. On a, on a Saturday. On a Saturday. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. It's awesome. It we, we met people that flew in from Dallas and, you know, we, we drove in yeah. from South Arkansas. So, wow. I mean, you know, so it's, yeah, so it's, folks are coming from all over now just yeah. to be a part of this. Mm-hmm. It's a great conference. That's awesome. And That's I'm really great. glad y'all are here. We're well, glad to be here. Thank you very much. And, and we thank you guys for inviting us and, and thank you for your voluntold help. Yes. <laughs> it's a good volunteer. Putting it, yeah, it's good. Right. <laughs> putting it on. So thank you very, very much. Thanks for coming right, by. Thanks. Yep. Nice to meet very you guys. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. We would like to thank our guests for joining us for this interview. If you would like to hear more EduTech guys, check out our podcast on iTunes.